Emily Smith Rowey makes his debut for the England national team. Welcome to you, the Football News Top 10s and Lifestyle Zone. I come by the names of Rokan David, aka RD, onto this channel. Today, we go into that big story of Emily Smith Rowey. It has taken over internet. Arsenal fans are buzzing on Twitter. They are really reacting to this, this, this memorable moment of Emily Smith Rowey. One of their own, looking great, young, and intelligent in there. That is Emily Smith Rowey in there for you. He is just 20 years old and he made his debut in the season of. Mikel Ateta at Arsenal in there. He was away at Hull City, was in Germany on loan, and later he made his impact into the Arsenal team. Last season, Emily smith came out and played very well, and he announced his arrival at the Emirates in there. Very, 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 very okay in there. And very many people really came out and said that he is really going to be one of the best that we've seen at Arsenal. And at the beginning of the season, he was given a shirt number 10 and the hell and academic graduate Emily Smith Rowe, we knew that he is up for a very big task because given such big numbers of players like Mesut Ozil being in the foot of Mesut Ozil, Dense Buckham, the Dutch master, you know what you have to provide to really make people believe that yes, Emily Smith Rowe deserves this shirt number. I personally was one of the persons that really thought that this shirt number was going to give him a lot of pressure at Arsenal, but the, the way he really came up and absorbed this pressure into him and turned it to and turned it into results in there. That is Emily Smith Rowe in there for you. And the manager who goes by name of Mikel Ateta, the manager of Arsenal, came out and said that. He is the one who requested for that shirt number. At the age of 20, he is really having a very big heart. And before I really go ahead, I really want to read something that Gary Neville came out and say about Emily Smith Rowe in there. And this is what Gary Neville came out and said. I want to cut it out and bring it out because that shows you, it reflects exactly what I've been talking about, about this young, exciting English lad who goes by the names of Emily Smith Rowe. He is really a lad with a very big heart. You won't believe what he is having at that age. He's being compared to some of the greatest, 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 greatest soccer players into the game of football in there at, at his age because very few have shown the balls that he has shown so far in there. And his attitude has been credited by the former Manchester United captain who goes by the name of Gary Devo. And when he comes out and it relates him to a man who goes by the name of Ronaldo, whom he played with because Gary Neville saw Ronaldo come through at this age and he knew the greatest attributes of Ronaldo in there. But this is what Gary Neville has come out and said. This has really shocked me and it has shown that this boy has a very big potential. He has scored, I think in the last four games of Arsenal, he has scored in the last three games because I've seen his goal against Aston Villa. I've seen his goal against Tottenham Hotspur. I've seen his, game against, I've seen his goal against Leicester City. There is another team that Arsenal played in there and MD Smith Rowe was on to the score sheet in there. So it shows you how much even this recent game that even against Watford, it was Emily Smith Rowe. So it shows you how much this boy is on fire in there. So let me first read for you what Gary Neville said. Gary Neville came out and said that he is a beautiful footballer and he's got a long way to go in his career. Cristiano Ronaldo wasn't as clinical and ruthless at that age. That's where he has got to get to, to the point whereby every single game they want to be the best. So he's saying that the only thing that Ronaldo had at this age better than him is that each and every single game Ronaldo wanted to be the best. So that's the package that Gary Neville has packaged for a man who goes by names of Emily Smith Rowe, this young England inter English international who is doing great in here at Arsenal in there. Now he was at Sky Sports after that game ended and this is what Gary Neville said. And when Gary Neville comes out and says this, that shows you that this boy has a very big potential in him. He has a very big potential in him because, trust me, being compared to Ronaldo, leave alone these other English talent that really came through and compared to them. But this young man is a direct player. He is workaholic. He doesn't, he doesn't give up. That's why he has managed to bench the likes of the likes of Pepe um, and very many, even Odegaard is out of the picking order because this young man adds on a lot to the team of Arsenal. So that's what the, that's what Gary Neville came out and said about Emily Smith. I felt like when I'm doing this story about his debut for England, 
I would be, I would have done, I would have cheated you if I told I never brought for you what Karen never said about this young man because it's really touching and encouraging because a young man who really was called because of Marcus Rashford ruling out that he needs to concentrate more at the national team and he really said that he is from injury, he does not feel well, and it means like he needs to concentrate more on his career. And then a call came in. Remember, he told us a story that the, he was at, um, at his mother's place, and the call came in. And when this call came in, he received it, and guess who was calling? It was Gary Southgate, who told him that you are really part of my team in there. And he came into the training and all what happened after is history as we speak right about now he has made his start for england in there his debut will be remembered that england hit a team which goes by names of albania by five goals to nil and he took to twitter and said buzzing to make my debut at wembley great team performance that's emily smith rowe in there for you a man of all seasons in there and he's surprising very many of us because the way his talent is growing it's really amazing he is that young lad that came through at the age of 18 19 at arsenal and he really made a very big mark you know what it means putting arsenal on your shoulders when you are the man responsible for the creativity of the team which goes by names of arsenal it shows how much how much it shows us how much he is into being one of those greatest stars at Arsenal, and that that move of requesting the shirt number ten to be given to him by the manager who goes by names of Mikel Arteta, it shows you how big dreamed this young lad is who goes by names of Emily Smith Rowe. Smash the like on the but smash the like on the video, comment and share. And if at all you are watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to our channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. I really want to show you, you know, the tweet, the tweet of Emily Smith Rowe that he really pulled up after the game that he was really buzzing that he was buzzing to play at Wembley for the national team which goes by the names of England in there I really want to show you yeah that's the tweet in there for you you see it buzzing to make my debut at Wembley great performance in there remember this England team came in this game where they, they only need two wins and they've got one against Albania that is 5-0 and they are left with San Marino and I think even Smith Rowe is going to play that game he'll come on because England will go on and bury it again in there because they just need a win to automatically qualify for the World Cup in there that is next year in there and by the way he puts himself in contention of the players that are really going to compete for places the 23 man squad that is going to make it to the World Cup of 2022 in Qatar because when you look at the players that is competing with they are really high high but you never know injuries might come through Emmett Smith Rowe might continue and extend his <laughs> in there because he faces competition from Marcus Rashford um, Jack Grealish Jordan Sancho Bukayo Saka so all of those he has to beat them in there to see himself that he comes through because he plays in the central midfield but in the central midfield i don't see him play against play ahead of play ahead of um phil forden um who else mm, i think phil forden in there for you because england plays with three a man midfield with two defensive midfielders in there that is Declan rice and 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 Calvin Phillips in there. So that means Jordan Henderson came in to play on his back and win his feet. Expect that three-man midfield of, 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 of England to stand like that. As you saw them yesterday, you know, Declan Rice was out in there. But I really feel like it's good news for a man who goes by names of Emily Smith Rowe in there for him making his debut for the England national team. By the way, it's good news for the lad. If at all you don't know how good this is, he is really impressed. And he really wants to work hard in there. So that is the story I had for you here on the football news top tens and lifestyles on Emily Smith Rowe debuts from England. What what a night for the Arsenal fans all around the world. This is what you wanted to hear day in, day out that Emily Smith Rowe has debuted for you. And there you go. He has debuted for the England national team. Remember, he has been playing for the under 23s. Under 23s 
under 21s, under 23s from England. And guess what? This time around, he thought, even he came out in the same because he came out and made his statement and say, I thought I was going to go and play in the under 21s in there because I was called. He played with the likes of Shoriter, uh, Balogan in there, his fellow teammate at Arsenal in there. So, but at home, he was going upstairs, receives a call from Gareth Southgate, and boom, we went into that game. Why did he come into this game to play this part? The reason is simple. England had beaten <coughs> Albania by five goals to nil in the first half. Who scored that goal? For? The first goal was Harry Maguire, a very good header, cross brought in by Dean, Jordan Henderson. Thirdly, it was a free kick brought in by either Jordan, by, by Henderson or Phil Foden. <laughs> Secondly, it was Harry Kane. Thirdly, the third goal was scored by Jordan Henderson. The fourth goal was scored by Harry Kane. And the third goal, it was a very good brought in corner. And Harry Kane did a very good volley and it went. That was a bicycle kick, a very good bicycle kick. And he made it three goals. Remember, he came into this game when he was just one goal away from from equaling the record of Wayne Rooney, the all-time England goal scorer. And now he is at... He's at 55 goals because Wayne Rooney was at 53 and now Harry Kane is at 54 goals in there. So you now know why Emily smith Rowe came in through and he played very well. I really saw him touch. You know what he does best and I think Arsenal fans are happy to see him prosper. So guys, I feel like you should go into the comment section and tell me what you think about Emily smith Rowe debuting for a team which goes by the names of England on his first senior call up in there is he going to compete really and go to the world cup that is the big reason that most of us are really waiting for here on to the football news top tens and lifestyle zone we are bringing you stories for manchester united chelsea we do a 360 coverage of all the games of all the football teams around the world even you saw last time we brought you a game of uganda versus kenya and Mali versus Uganda, I think tomorrow at around 7 p.m. We are really going to be here and bringing it to you live from the studios, which are called the African Cover Studios here. Smash the like button, comment and share. I go by the names of RD. Thank you guys for watching in. Remember tomorrow, go and pray to the Lord because before you do anything, you have to pray to the Lord because he is the Almighty. He is the Lord God that has given us life for us living for us in for us in uganda we got to know how expensive oxygen is when covid came up every day seven million shillings sure multiply by the years each and every year multiply it by 365 after that multiply it by seven million then you'll know close to two thousand dollars then you know how much you would have paid to the lord if at all this oxygen we breathe was supposed to be paid for in there. So I sign out for now. See you later. I'm going to be back in a giphy. We are going to be having a marathon of stories running onto this channel because you guys are such amazing and I love you. Bye bye for now. See you later. May the Almighty bless you and more blessings to all the viewers and subscribers of the Football News, Top Tens and Lifestyle Zone.